<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to the newly reformatted Rise Up Gamers TV uh, podcast. And we will be your host today. I am the RB underscore three. And I am from the Brady Bunch. Wolf Cross. <laughs> and below, below me. <laughs> I'm Grizz underscore XI. It's not an L. Today we're just going to talk about games kind of in general. Um, the ones that we are enjoying playing the most right now, one new releases we're excited for, um, games that may have recently come out, just kind of our thoughts and stuff, and uh, mm-hmm. just the ones we have fun streaming, the ones maybe we have fun playing off stream, things like that. So we're just kind of going to talk about our favorite games today. Well, on and off stream, arguably, I've I got bit by the MMO bug again, so I've been on... I've been on World of Warcraft, uh, Fallout 76, and more recently, The Elder Scrolls Online, which has kind of consumed a lot of my time, especially since I'm, I literally have nothing to do. Uh, but we know why. We're not going to talk about it, especially since YouTube demonetizes that. Um, but no, literally, The Elder Scrolls Online, I feel like it's flown under the radar for so long, but it has such an active like player base. And with uh, Greymore, their newest expansion coming, which looks really good. Uh, I recommend everybody goes and looks up the trailer. Um, it's just fun. There's, what is it, F- four or five? I think there's six different classes, a bunch of different playable races. Uh, every class can do anything, and you can literally play the class how you want. Like, there's no cookie-cutter build how there is on, like, most MMOs. And it's just mm-hmm. enjoyable. Like, you, you, you lose so much time because you can go everywhere and do anything. Oh, that's actually kind of cool that you can do you can do whatever build on whatever character. You're not limited yeah. by the one that you pick. I've never played ESO, but I've just heard a lot about it. One of my friends has actually been playing it a ton lately. I keep seeing him play it in Discord, and uh, oh, I've just good. never never tried it or anything. I but I wasn't a big Skyrim fan, so mm-hmm. it didn't necessarily appeal to me that much. I feel like I'm in the minority. I think I like Oblivion more than Skyrim, but I'm going to leave it at that. They have their own either. thing. It's like Oblivion was a, more of a, more of a, the hellish side where you're like, I think you the Oblivion more Gates, time, yeah. You spend more time doing that than um, exploring. Like in Skyrim I think that's what I liked about it, yeah. Uh, okay. But uh, yeah, no, it was, I, I, I played a lot of Oblivion and, and Skyrim myself. Which begs the question as to why the hell did I not start playing Elder Scrolls till yesterday? <laughs> like, R B was telling me it's like it's really it's a really good game. Play it, play it, play it. So I was like, all right, I want to play it. But then R B was like on WoW or some you know rip. Uh, but I finally played it yesterday, and I can tell you that I am I am definitely hooked. The I, I wasn't able to, you know, spend much time with it yesterday as I would have liked, but still I did play for four hours. But I realized that that that's the game I've, I've been looking for. It's uh, there was so much stuff to do. The 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 people on stream too were helping me out. Uh, the chat was like, "Oh, you can do this and you can do that," and the whole time I was like, "What? Really? Ah." You can buy oh magic. <laughs> you can have NPC butlers. You can make. You can build your own garden. And they're mm-hmm. like, "Oh, and look at the mounts. And look at the pets." And I was like, "I was like, lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my! And little <laughs> <laughs> pandas. You know." I was like, "Holy crap!" And then the armors looked amazing. Uh, I'm just like, I, I, I can't wait to get back into it. Like, I'm gonna take. A, the, the, I took the day off today because. And I worked out this deal with my ladies. Had to, you know, also balance life, right? Got family time. But tomorrow, I'm gonna be all over it for sure. Like that, that, that game. It, it's uh, like I, I gotta get back in. It's it's so good, and I I can't believe I missed out. I can't believe I waited this long. Maybe I I think I, I can't remember. Like vaguely, like, I don't know. I can't remember when when the game even came out. But I heard bad things about it, and I think that's probably why I didn't jump right into it at the beginning. But you know. I'm like diving in now, like that that rabbit hole. I'm in there. <laughs> this game is is gonna get a lot of playtime for me for sure. Yeah, my my friends recently got me into like finally trying out RuneScape, like old school RuneScape, not the newer one. So I've been trying that out for a while. That's about probably about as far as my like 
MMO type game goes. Other than, I think Destiny is considered like an MMO, right? But it's it's like an MMO it's, FPS. It's kind of like an yeah. It's like a it's like a shooter MMO mix type deal. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I just started playing that again recently. Um, but if you guys if you guys like MMOs like that, have you guys seen that new one? I think it's called like From the Ashes or something. Oh my god, Ashes of Creation, I am so Ashes excited. of Creation, there it is. I could not remember what it was called. I just watched Tim. Oh, yeah. Tim the Tapman streamed it the other day. He streamed like some like some footage of it or something and was on a call with one of the developers and they were talking about the game the whole time. And that's I was like, one. hmm. I was like, that might actually, that might they, actually bring they, me around. I think it's free to like play full, too. It might, I think it might be. They did a full um, developer stream of it. And they like were running around and they were showing like examples of like abilities and stuff. Yeah. And then the thing that the thing that got me was they they called it a dungeon, but you like go in and it's what you like. Do you you know the scene where they go into the mines of Moria in Lord of the Rings? How big it is, like the scale. Yeah. It's what the dungeon like felt like, and they went through and there's all these corridors and stairs and like passageways and they get to the very bottom and you start seeing lava and stuff, and then you look over on this giant platform, and there's a dragon that's, like, the size of half the room. And mm. that's, like, the final boss, apparently, of the dungeon, and I'm like, like, that's the kind of game I've wanted forever. See, I I came in, like, right towards the end of the stream, so all I saw was them, like, walking around and, like, ride a horse or something. I missed a lot, but... Yeah, they I, were literally riding a horse in the dungeon. I was like, this is kind of cool. I saw, uh, I, yeah. I just saw that he was live and it said, it said that name and I was like, oh, I've never seen this before. Like, what is that? So I clicked on yeah. it and that's what it was. And I was like, oh, that actually might be like, you know, like since they're trying to get me into that and I'm like trying to find more chill games to play late at night sometimes while we're trying to get the baby to sleep and stuff, you know, cause mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get her to sleep and then we start trying to get ready for bed and then she decides to like wake up on and off and on and off and on and off all yeah. for like hours so sometimes yeah. while and, oh, yeah. and i can't do anything that my wife has to feed her so like i'll just kind of like mess around on my computer while we're all still up so sometimes it'd be nice to have like a just a kind of a chill game that i can play later at night and stuff or yeah. late night on like the weekends or whatever yeah Without it, having a yell so, yeah exactly so i mean from, it, it, from the, I might give it a shot for sure. From the lead director of the game, the dude is like a huge MMO fan. He's played like every MMO under the sun. And oh, he yeah. said it <laughs> it's tied closely to I think he said Lineage 2, which he really liked Lineage 2. Um but just like the what they showed for abilities, like they showed a couple of what they said would be like their their major wizard class. The blink looks awesome. You literally have like an arcane beam that looks like an arcane Kamehameha wave, and I'm like, like it looks phenomenal. See, I... and it's with it, it was just the ability like animation. There was no like cast animation, so that like once you put everything together, it's gonna look even better. And I'm like, all right, I'm sold. Yeah, see, he. So I heard him bad. say, I heard him say something about. Uh, he's like, oh. He, He's like, you know, like one of the things they're trying to avoid is people coming in being like, oh, this is just another like MMO, like we've been there and blah, blah, blah. Like they're all the, kind of the same. And he's like, that's not what mm -hmm. we want to do with this one. Like we're going to do all this different stuff. And I was like, I might, I might check it out at least for sure. Yeah. See what's it, up, especially I, if it's free I, to play. I definitely want to give it a solid go because from like everything the creative has said for it has hit all the right notes for me. Because like I've been a bit like I've, I've played WoW. I played Terra, I played Black Desert, uh, Arc Age, and like now I'm playing ESO, which I guess you'd call it an MMO. But I mean, the only one I really stuck with is WoW, but that's just because it continues to have like a life cycle. But if there's something that is a it's better performing going. game, it's still going. Yeah. yeah I mean, see. everybody, and, and the, the issue I think most MMOs have. Is when they come out, everybody's like, "Oh, it's gonna be the WoW killer." Every MMO I have played on release has been called a WoW killer. <laughs> the only thing that's gonna kill WoW, and they're doing a pretty good job at it as of late, is WoW. Like WoW's gonna kill itself. Well, that's just but like every uh, every new BR that comes out, they're like, "Oh, is this gonna be the Fortnite killer? Is this gonna be the Fortnite yeah. killer?" No. Like, nah. Like, oh, and, I and that's that's the thing. So now my shit's all every. Oh uh, no, you're you're good, dude. Every game has its own like fan base. Like if you like Fortnite, you like it. If you like Apex, you like it. If you like Warzone, yeah, you like exactly. it. Exactly. Every I game's mean, different. Fortnite's still going strong at this point, and I feel like yeah. 
I've seen lately people are saying that like a lot of big names are starting to leave it, which I don't think that'll fully kill the game. Still, it just might be new people to watch all the time. Yeah, I mean, exactly. There's still gonna be plenty of people that play it and plenty of people that stream it, but a lot of big names are leaving. Like I know Cipher PK, he he's saying that he's like been playing Warzone a lot and something else, mm-hmm. but like he's well, like slowly started transitioning away from like Fortnite and playing other games. Well, but he still that, plays like, Fortnite too. Whole, I think so. It's that whole core crew. They all just like play Warzone. Yeah, and I mean, even what Lupo plays like Escape from Tarkov. Oh, Lupo's so. been playing Tarkov forever. See, he I heard him talk about that. Um, I think it was on a podcast or something, but he was talking about it like he's like, you know, I was playing Escape from Tarkov like off stream before it was even like a big game that everybody was streaming. He's like, so now the fact that I can stream that a game that I already was enjoying off cam so much, he's like, and then to stream that and people still come and like watch and hang out. He's like, he's like, I couldn't ask for anything better. He's like, I'll just play it all the time now, mm-hmm. and people love it. Like, I mean, obviously he's still killing it, and he's mm-hmm. getting to play Tarkov. But like, Courage, he quit playing it. He plays Warzone. Um, Tim the Tapman plays Warzone all the time. Like, they all just like play Warzone mainly now. Symphony, yeah. Cloaksy, all of them all play Warzone now. A lot of the right. big names. But something you just said right now piqued my interest. What's that? Doctor, you're saying Doctor Lupo did not stream Escape from Tarkov because he didn't think people were gonna watch it. Mm-hmm. Well, he, so that is they're crazy from... to me as a streamer. <laughs> that is crazy to me. That what you just said right now is <gasps> well. Bef- so there was a point in time. So I think Escape from Tarkov had been out for a while, right? But then, like all of yeah, a sudden, it started really... blowing up on Twitch all at once, right? And everybody was yeah. streaming it. Well, Lupo, like, kind of hopped in there and started streaming it as well as it was blowing up and got a lot of viewers from that. But he was already, he already loved, like, he didn't, he didn't just start playing Escape from Tarkov and streaming it to, to get new viewers or anything or, like, try to grow off of it. He was already playing it and loving it off stream. So then when that wave hit where everybody was like, oh, we want to watch Escape from Tarkov, he was like, I already love this game. I, he's like, I have no problem streaming it. Yeah, so it was just the, like him getting to, him, to play it more. The point of him was playing it off stream, I mean, offline. That's the part that caught my attention. Like, uh, like even a I big mean, streamer like that was not going to waste their time doing Escape from Tarkov. It dude, was his, really his, yeah. his gigantic that's, that's, fan base was Fortnite. I and know, people would get mad if you didn't stream Fortnite. That is crazy. I don't, don't know if he's streamed Fortnite it or not anymore, before. dude. <laughs> but, he made you. Yeah. I'm just amazed. Like, wow. That's I, like I people know, that like, only know Ninja from Fortnite, or like they like say stuff, you know, to him about Fortnite or whatever. And it's like he was literally a Halo pro and everything, like way before that game. Like oh, he yeah. just blew up because of that game. Like he That's got even cool. bigger off of that game, which a lot of people did. A lot of people blew up over Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah, but, but there's like some kind of stigma over it. Yeah, now it's like, oh, another Fortnite streamer. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that, like, that, like I mean, you're that, just trying to get views, like, bro. There's like two different, like groups, if if, if you will. Um, it's like you have the big streamers who, they're known for playing certain games, and when they don't, their fan base who comes back every day, day in and day out to see whatever game. If they're not playing that game, they're gonna be like, oh, what, what the hell ever. Like you're not gonna play that game anymore. Okay. Then there's us who we enjoy like what we enjoy like we all have different tastes in games but if we tried to play one of those big games it'd be pointless because we dude the be... doc could play Tetris and I would watch it like exactly and that, like that's <laughs> you I know feel what like, I, mean? I feel like that's the key thing I feel like you either learn it real quick or you learn it the hard way so like you need you want people to come to your stream not for what you're playing but for you which is Kind of, kind of what I've learned because I've started playing like way more like single player playthroughs, and mm-hmm. people are like flooding into my streams. But like you've seen the Discord, like my my streams are doing okay. Um, but people are coming back and they're hanging out and they're watching the game no matter what the hell I'm playing. Yeah. And I feel like that's the key thing that a lot of people miss. They're like, 
I'm going to play only Call of Duty or Fortnite, and I'm going to blow up doing it. Good luck. <laughs> Some people can, but... Some people get lucky, Not yeah. always. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, exactly. you guys know Stallion? Yep. From Hype? Well, he wasn't Hype. So, mm -hmm. I mean, he, like, only streams COD, and he's, like, started growing a ton from it, but... The dude's, yeah. like, super entertaining. Like, he's a cool dude. He's really chill. He's really good at reading mm -hmm. chat, even though it moves really quick sometimes. And, like, they go on, like, insane win streaks and stuff. Like, they do stuff in the streams and everything. And, like, it, it, he's gotten really – like, I've I've watched him get bigger because mm -hmm. I've been following him for yeah. a long time now. And I've watched yeah, him get bigger just really playing nice. COD. Yeah, and, he, well, he plays with people, too. Like, he's good. And then like he'll play with people, and they just go on like insane win streaks. It's uh, right. I I don't remember what his highest is. I I feel like there was one time like obviously not in one stream, but can say like over time of stream like on stream their win streak. I want to say his he just put out a new YouTube video. I think they hit a thousand. Jesus. Like a thousand wins without losing of just like different yeah, game if, modes. If that doesn't get you follows, I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what it was. Yeah, and it's like there's – it. I mean it's the, what, different strokes, different folks. Like I've gone into streams where like I'll be playing a new game and I'll see – like I'll go like look at the top streamers playing it and I'll see what they're doing. And I'll sit there and watch them and I'm just like – I'm like lulled. It's like, it's like if you've ever sat through a lecture and the person is entirely monotone – and they're just reading off of the slides and there's nothing else like so, some of the streams i've seen it i'm just like why like what is happening <laughs> there's a, there's but, a, the, but the people there's like it there. there's a crowd for it if you can't tell the twitch there is a crowd for everything a lot of <laughs> a lot of people too i think um they'll like they'll get growth like they'll they'll grow a community because they probably at one point were interacting with everybody you know and stuff and then it gets mm -hmm. to the point where it's probably like impossible to read their chat so they're not they're not interacting with their chat but the community everybody knows each other so it's more of just chat interacting with itself mm -hmm. and the streamer doesn't really have to at that point if that makes sense mm -hmm. yeah but yeah but see the thing like with lupo that's why i kind of wanted to bring that up in this one and just talk about like maybe games that we play on stream, but then games we play off stream. Like, obviously, like I just said, I've played a little bit of RuneScape here and there. I've never streamed it. Yeah. I played a ton of Destiny 2, just now got back into it, and did my first stream on it. You know, first ever stream on it. But I've played Destiny 2 all the way up to Shadowkeep, and I just now started that. So, you know, I've never streamed that, but... Shadowkeep. I always... I always stream, like... For me, I've never tried to do that, really, like, limit myself to one game or, mm -hmm. you know, be like, oh, well, more people came in to it when I was playing this random game than when I play COD, so now I'm not really having fun with that random game, but it gets me more views. Like, nah, I just play whatever I'm having fun with at the time, whatever I'm feeling. If, if I get people on that want to play Rocket League, I'll play Rocket League. If we want to run COD, we'll run COD. You know, I just stream whatever I have fun with because mm -hmm. I feel like it's going to translate to your to the viewers that do come in. Like, if you're not yeah. having a good time, I f your stream's going to be lackluster, I feel like. I don't know. I, can t I, I mean, I guess you guys were talking about ESO, but for me, I've been, like, the only game I've really been playing lately is Valorant ever since the beta. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, for me, it's just been Valorant mostly. Um, that... A little bit of Rocket League here and there. Um, I started playing it again just because I wanted to unlock some more stuff before the season ends, and because I was yeah. climbing, I was actually climbing the ranks. I was like Champ Three, Division Three, and the only thing above that's Grand Champ. So I was getting you real close. It. I was getting real close, but that I, I like. I basically strayed away from Call of Duty. Like I haven't played Call of Duty in forever, and that was like my main game I played all the Same. time. Same. Man, I mean, I, I mean, I love Call of Duty, but I I've fell in love with Valorant, like because I loved CS:GO, but I came into CS:GO so late to where I was at a huge disadvantage. Like everybody already knew the maps, like all these peak spots, like all this stuff, and I'm coming in here, don't know a spray pattern, 
and I'm just getting completely demolished. And if you're not playing on like Face It or ESA or whatever it is, whatever the other one is, I can't remember. If you're not paying mm-hmm. playing on those, the game is just riddled with like cheaters and hackers and stuff now. I mean, you can't even remotely have like a good game. Like even if you play competitive, like you'll just play against people that are hacking because the game went free to play, so they'll just make another account and and download it and play it again. Mm-hmm. Like if they end up getting banned. And you can tell too because most of those people they'll just you you can tell usually the way that they're playing, but if they're really good like that, if if they're really good and they have like zero skins on their guns, they've probably got banned and made a different account because they're not going to put money into an account and hack yeah. to get it banned and lose that money because you can't get it back. So I, I loved the concept of CSGO, but I was way too far behind and just you couldn't, like I said, you couldn't even go play a casual game without people hacking. And then where Valorant is basically that updated, just with the abilities as a as a mixture, like to to mix it up. And yeah, I come into that game when everybody else did, so I was like learning it as everybody else is learning it, and like progressing as everybody else is progressing. Like I'm learning the game from the beginning, and I can play like with people and and hold my own. So that I just fell in love with the game right off the bat. Yeah. Especially with it being free to play. But I've definitely spent some money on it, so there's that. <laughs> but that's what it's been for me lately. On and off stream when I can stream anymore, but Yeah. Those are mainly the what I say, three games. Valorant, Rocket League, haven't really touched Call of Duty, played a little bit of RuneScape. <laughs> started Destiny two again. So yeah, those are basically what I'm what I'm on right now. I did re-download uh, Magic the Gathering Arena because I guess when I played it like a long time ago, it was just in a beta stage, which I didn't know. Mm-hmm. And I re-downloaded it. Somebody was talking about Magic, and I was like, "Oh man, I haven't played Magic for like so long because I, I have a ton of cards." Yeah. And nobody to play it with now, really. And I I saw somebody that I knew was streaming it, and I'd never seen him stream that before. And I was watching it, and I was like, oh, this looks so different than when I played it. And she was telling me about it, and I was like, oh, I'm going to just re-download it for fun. And, and I've started playing that game. I've got into building decks on there and unlocking cards and everything, like, as you play. And But I haven't I don't, I don't, haven't streamed that. I've, I just play it every now and then when it's late. Like I said, for, like, a chill game, I don't have to yell at anybody to watch the, my yeah. flank or something. <laughs> Yeah, any more on stream, I'm digging the single players just because I can hold full conversations with people, and the narrative also helps like carry a little bit. Because I know, I know Wolf, you you do a lot of single players too. Yeah, I watched him play Spider Man, Val Val and Hyperscape. You made me want to play Spider Man. Like, I wanted to play that game for a long time. I just haven't bought it yet. Yeah, and it looks so good. Like it just like watching you play it made me want to play it so much more. Mm Hmm. I had a great time with it. Uh, it's, it's the story. I it looked a lot a of fun. Times. I watched you play a ton of it while I was working. Yeah, the, just the web slinging alone, it was just... I was like... stupefied, mesmerized by it. Just go through the, yeah. the, the buildings. Oh, yeah. It, it's going to take a while to get used to the fighting, though. That, that was one of the things that... that Caught me off guard at the game. I was like, I thought it was gonna be a lot easier, but <laughs> I mean, is it, really is it similar? Is it similar to like the Arkham Arkham yes. series? Yeah. Okay. But see, I like I like more complex fighting in games like that. Like, I don't like it to just be the same, like three moves all the time. Like, mm-hmm. I get bored of games like that real quick. So, like watching you play it, like all the different stuff that you can do just in a com- like in a fight, it was like, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That looks fun. Yeah, no, I started tagging people. There's different webs you can use, uh, like uh, yeah. the electrical ones, the ones that impact. They're, you know, like you hit them and they stick to the wall without having to fight. <laughs> One of my and, favorite and things watching you do was grab a hold of something and spin it around and throw it at them. That was, that was pretty great. <laughs> I love that thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that I one was good. It. it was like, hey, I'm not done with you. And I spin it still while they're still getting up just yeah. to finish them off. Yeah, some of those finishers, oh man, the finishers with the 
They're so cinematic, mm-hmm. too. I love doing those. Yeah. That was a really good game. I am looking forward to the next one. Yeah, I Miles just want to play it. One. But see, also, I got... I got uh, Horizon Zero Dawn with, like, all the DLC, like, the some special yeah. edition of it. I got that yeah. and got that the new God of good. War. Because I've been wanting to play them. him, but I never did. So I got those, and I want to play them now. And I'll, I've, I've been thinking about doing it and setting, like, a, a day of the week that I can. Maybe just do, like, a solo game like that, where it's, like, mm-hmm. you know, other days maybe I'm I'm playing, you know, my normal Valorant or whatever, whatever the case may be. And then just have a day, like, where I just play a solo game and can, like, hang out. And, like, you know, I, I do my best to interact with everybody as much as possible when they're in there. Yeah, but, yeah. like, like you said, you can get even more. Like, you don't have to, you, you can look away. Yeah. And not have to worry about anything. Like, you know, you can't just look away in Warzone and, you know, and not have to worry about getting sniped from a building or something. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah so, like, Chris, Chris probably knows this, but have you ever just look at the, uh, like in Valorant, you ever just look at the mini map and you get shot? Yes. That that's basically what. Good luck trying to read the chat. <laughs> Dude, I was holding. Shot. Yesterday, I was playing with Focus, and I was literally. Wa- I knew, I knew that somebody was going to be trying to flank, and I sat and watched this angle with an op for I don't know how long. Just sitting there, I'm like, I know she's about to come around here. I guess it's gonna happen. I'm just sat here watch. I be- like, like literally, like barely looked away. Like not even turned my head. Just like glanced my eyes a little bit, and then she's there, and I die. And I'm like, you, <clears throat> like nothing makes me want to rage more than that timing. I've, I've died yeah. so many times. Like I'll be I holding an angle. It. I'll be holding an angle. And I'll be like, all right, I'm gonna blink. I'm gonna blink. I'm gonna blink, and I blink. And by the time I like, as soon as I, my eyes open, they're right there, and I'm like, fuck. I'm done. Yeah. That's how fast you die. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes. It's crazy. insane. So yeah, I know I know what you're talking about. But Yeah, I'm 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 definitely I will definitely support anybody who wants to do single players because like some of my favorite streams recently were the out like all the Outlast games. So one whistleblower and Outlast Two and then Alien Isolation, which is now tied Outlast for my favorite horror game. <laughs> because people literally people were literally like I would never play this, but I love watching other people play it. And I'm like, well, there you go. I can see why. He's Gave me heart like, palpitations. Oh, bro, I watched, do you guys know, um, uh, it's like, it's just LT, but I'm assuming it stands for Lieutenant Buttercup. You guys know her? Yeah. So she used to stream a ton of like horror games and stuff, right? And I think she still does, maybe. I don't know. I, I She streams really late sometimes, so I, I don't know what she's doing. But anyway, she was, I was watching her play this game one time, bro, and, like, my heart was racing, like, just watching it. I'm like, nah, can't do it. Can't play him, can't watch him. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not into jump scare stuff. I don't like it. And not that it because well, not- it's, not because it scares me. Like, I'm not, I'm not afraid. It's just, like, the anxiety of just waiting for something to scare me. Like I don't like oh, I don't, every time. I don't like haunted houses because I don't feel like I should pay somebody to like walk around and try to jump out of a corner and scare me or something. Like I don't know. I, or like stuff can be so predictable too because like you'll walk through like an area or something and you'll see something. You're like, oh okay, so somebody like you're looking over here. Somebody's gonna come from over there. You look like oh yeah, there they are scaring everybody else. <laughs> like it's I don't know. I don't like jump scare stuff. I I like to be I like suspense and all that, but I just don't like jump scares, I guess. So watching it or streaming it's not really or playing it in general is not really my thing. Yeah. But I see why people like it. On the other hand, it's just not for me. Well, I feel I feel like that's I feel like that's a good segue into what games because there's been a lot either freshly released, um, announced uh are going to come out within the next year or two years uh along with the new consoles halo so how, how are you guys feeling about uh, you, you, i mean you want to start off we can start off with halo uh yeah i i am 100 percent looking forward to halo um what i am strongly disappointed in is they confirmed that the original magnum and shotgun are not going to be in the game at launch which i feel like why would you take five steps forward and listening to the fan base and you know, three giant steps back by doing that. Those games have been wait. in every Halo. Wait, they're not putting the shotgun in Halo? 
the Magnum and the original pump action shotgun are not going to be an infinite at launch. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Exactly. That's what everybody's saying. It's the same. It's the same incident from Halo five where, you know, the spunker, the rocket launcher with the rotating tubes, how they replaced that with just like the single shoulder cannon rocket launcher. And everybody was like, where's the halo rocket launcher? They're like, Oh, well we put this one in. And then like six months later, they patched in that you, they finally put the spunker in. And yes, it's actually called the spunker. Don't at me. <laughs> that, but it's gonna get added in later on. Is that what they said? That and everybody's like, why not just have it in? It's been in every game. Yeah, that that'd be like saying, oh, we're also not gonna have like the sniper rifle or it, exactly the assault and, rifle. Like we're not gonna have they, the Halo assault rifle. We're introducing some new gun, but we'll add it later. They, <laughs> the the two um, there was the combat shotgun. And then the it, it literally just looked like a Glock, like it was a generic pistol in the demo. And they're like, that's to, to re- take the place of those. And everybody's like, we would love it if those were alongside them. But why replace them? Why now? Like, what's the purpose? Especially the shotgun. Play? Like, bro, if you played multiplayer, the shotgun was the gun. If you yeah. played Halo well, multiplayer, it was the shotgun or the sniper rifle was the power weapons you want. Well, and the rocket launcher. But Dude, those were I the loved, three power weapons in that game. Why would you take I lo- any I of loved, them out? I loved the game mode Magnums. Like, just Magnums. Like, like SWAT Magnums. It was fun. Oh, I loved, um, I loved playing uh, a SWAT. That was my shit. Because you'd have, like, the DMR, and you just headshot people, and that was what killed them. Dude, could, I, like, there, there, is, the there is a lot. There's a lot going. They've done a lot correctly, though. The story seems good. They've reverted to the old art style, and I'm not talking about the debacle from the demo where the art looked subpar because they've already announced that that was it was like an early demo build. They wanted to show no. you gameplay. Um, <laughs> but what does look good, it's going to be open world, which means you can go to like the different missions. Nobody knows specifics yet, um, but I'm excited because they apparently are getting away from the loot crate nonsense that halo 5 did um not only that the customization is supposed to be uh like the love child of halo 3 and reach which reach had i think the best customization out of any halo reach was awesome and yeah i mean apart from halo though i honestly i was shocked by what what i saw at the the xbox conference or well conference um live stream showcase uh so what was it? Was it kill kill? Was it kill switch? Kill zone? Was it kills? I one of them. Something. It looked really good. Um, uh, I was thoroughly was... Imp- the the trailer for Avowed. That you looked really good. That's it. Not kill zone. Crossfire. Yeah. Crossfire like... <laughs> looks really good. Yeah. Crossfire <laughs> looks. Crossfire looks really good. Avowed. Um. Obviously, the new one grounded is already out. Um, and the new Fable. Which I'm also super excited about. See, I was never big into the Fable games, but like a them. lot of the stuff that I saw for the Xbox one was was actually really nice, and especially that you you kind of spend more money in the long run, but the bat like everything being in the Battle Pass or the game, sorry, the Game Pass, mm-hmm. like that's actually pretty sweet. And knowing that you're gonna be able to play like pretty much any game they come out with on PC or Xbox, you wouldn't they, have to have really... both. Yeah, they've morphed Game Pass in with Live. So if you have Live, you have yeah. Game Pass. Yeah, like if you like, you it, like, I won't have to have it. Like I could get the PS Five, but then still mm-hmm. play Halo because I can get it on my PC. Like that to yeah. me is exciting. I don't have to buy two consoles and then buy and then still have my PC and then have all. Which, you know what I mean? You don't have to have. Yeah, all which. Three. Which You're is still the biggest Microsoft, so it's all good. Which is the biggest thing I'm excited about because I the reason I have this is because friends I've had since I was like ten years old have only that. They don't have a PC. And it's understandable. Oh, you mean this not, thing? Yeah. Not not everybody's <laughs> gonna PC game. My I is that a is that a one or is that a three sixty? It's that's an a Xbox one. S, right? Okay, okay, I was like, is that the yeah, white three sixty, bro? A, I was like, that's white. awesome. Yeah. I do have a, um, I do have a 360, but still. But I, th- my, I think I think my 360 is in a box in my closet. I got um, my PC right here, PlayStation 4 right here, and then my Xbox right here. But that that's like the the big thing for me is crossplay because like I love I I like gaming I like gaming in general I play too many games I have an issue. Um, 
and when i can't play with my friends who have when i can't play with my friends who have said game because like there's games i i've had on pc forever that my friends have had on xbox forever but you can't cross play them that's like the that's the big thing i ran into with uh fallout 76 where the character i have on the xbox i can't play it on pc even though i have the game on pc too through game pass yeah but with everybody announcing like gears of war did it uh cod did it Fortnite did it and i mean those are you know basic games whatever yeah, uh, rocket league future, rocket league has it yeah. where you can play uh regardless but it's platform. i feel like cro- cross play is the few if you want if you want your company and or games to thrive it needs to have the capability of cross play and even destiny too they said uh they've already done cross save so if you play there you can bring your character over to pc which um, I just did. <laughs> but they said within the next year, they're hoping to create an environment where Xbox players can play with PC players, can play with PlayStation players. Sorry. And that's awesome. And from what I've read on Halo Infinite, is that if you, obviously if you have Game Pass, you can get it. Um, but it says it's cross platform. Now, I'm tentative about it because I, obviously I'd rather play it on my PC. My PC can run games way better than my Xbox. Um, but if I buy it and I can't play with the people I've played Halo with since I was 10, that's where I run into my impasse. Because Wolf's, uh, we'll, we'll like kind of transition into it, but Wolf's giving me crap because I, I've been talking about getting the, the Series X. I've been talking about getting the new Xbox. Um, but if everything truly is going to be cross-play, finally, at least on like the Microsoft and Windows section, mm-hmm. then I, for the first time in my life, I might buy a PlayStation. Well, see, I think the good thing about um, what they're doing with, like, the Game Pass and all of that is they're they're making it to where if you have Game Pass or you're playing, a game, like, games and stuff like that, like, you know, mm-hmm. I like Sea of Thieves, for example, like, I can be on my PC and play with Xbox players, but I don't think you can play with PS4 players. But I think it's going to translate. So, like, say, like, well, if see, you get Halo. Is not out for PlayStation. Well, whatever. I just use it as an example. But like yeah. say like like say if you get Halo on your PC, right? Mm-hmm. And your friends don't have a PC, but they have an Xbox. Well, you mm-hmm. both have it through like Microsoft service. So mm-hmm. you mu- you yeah. two might still be able to play together, but maybe you can't cross play with like PlayStation. You know what I mean? True, 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 true. Like I think they're they're starting to make all of their games like that. So if you you know, you like you might still not have to to buy an Xbox, you could still, you know, get the, get the PS5 and still have Halo on your PC, but play with your friends on Xbox still. But I don't know. I just, I think that's what they're trying to do. I think that's what Microsoft's trying to do. That way they can appeal to everybody because, I mean, the well, PS4 outsold the Xboxes. That like, is exactly insane. quote unquote what they said. Play anywhere. Yeah, I, th- I mean that's what like Phil Spencer said. They don't want to. They they don't want to hold you back from playing their games anywhere. So, and, and but 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 what they mean by that is Windows, you know, PC. Um, I think exactly. You, you, you might be able to even play some on mobile, but uh, you'll be able to play with your Xbox friends on PC. That's literally what they said. Yeah, because like so all the I know I could, are going to be able to play. I know I could do that I, with because uh... I be, I I have an Xbox too. Don't. I know I sound like a PlayStation fanboy, but the reason I say that is because I don't I don't want to have people if because like if you don't have a badass PC I guess a gaming PC whatever you call it right get a, get an Xbox you like those games but perfect I ain't gonna judge or anything but if you have a 2070 in your gaming PC huh. you're gonna get an Xbox and it's a waste of money especially really when, when they already confirmed that you'll be able to play with your Xbox buddies. Yeah, exactly. That's what, that's what I'm saying. And like, you'll get the best of both worlds. Exactly. That that was my that was like where I was. That's what that was like my point in all that is that you you could still get your get the PS5, have the PlayStation games and stuff that you want, the exclusives, whatever, and still play the games you want on your PC with your friends who might have just have an Xbox and not a PC. Cuz like I know when I when I bought that and got the game, <laughs> I tried out the Game Pass. Um, that thing back there somewhere and bought or i played uh gears 5 because i didn't want to buy it or whatever the new it's gears 5 is the newest one right Gear, yeah five yeah. so i didn't want to buy it for xbox or anything so i just got the game pass and i was going to try it out but 
See, I could play from my Xbox, and I could play with Focus on it, and he was playing it on his PC. Yeah. So, yeah. I already know that you can do that with some games, so I would imagine Halo, and especially other new releases, are going to be that same way. Yeah. So you could just get the PS5, and like, like we were saying, have the best of both worlds. That's one I thing that attacked. I'm excited about. Which I feel attacked by that 2070 <laughs> comment. When you were when you were talking about uh when you're talking about Destiny, you know, trying to head that way. Do you guys I don't yeah. know if you guys will remember this, but do you remember when Destiny was supposed to be like the game that got Xbox and PS4 people to play together? You oh remember my God, when they were yeah. trying to say that? They were like, Oh, we're oh, when Destiny releases we're gonna we're gonna have it to where if you're on mm-hmm. PS4 you can play with Xbox and then it never happened. And it I still hasn't would, happened. <laughs> I think they want I mean, now to you have just... it with other games, but Destiny 1 was supposed to be the game that bridged the gap and you could play together on either console, and it never happened. Well, yeah. th- now they're, they're not under uh, Blizzard. I, I think it's highly likely that it's going to happen now. Yeah. I mean, well, well every the, game's the, different now, so... The, the leaps and bounds they've taken since uh, Bungie has split from Activision is immense. Yes. Yeah. Like, y- y- if you look at the DLCs for Destiny leading up to Forsaken, which was their the first one they did after, like, they developed it and released it after the split, Forsaken, like, basically put a rocket up Destiny's ass, and it's been on an upward trend ever since because they have put, like, a lot of love back into the game, and it, it shows. It really does. Dude, like, two of those DLCs were garbage. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I, 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 I literally took, the, like... Uh... There was two before, like Siege of the Warmind, right? I th- there was the, I think it was there was a, like Osiris a, one or something. Curse of Osiris and Warmind, I think were the two. I feel like there wasn't there one before that too, though. Mm. Or maybe I got Forsaken and and got it as a bundle and got the other two first. Yeah, I don't know, you, but so there was yeah. there was one of them that I feel like I literally beat the whole DLC in like ten minutes. It yeah. was so yeah. short. I was like, this is trash. I was like, I'm glad I didn't pay for this yep. as a standalone DLC, and I got it. all of this as a bundle. I paid for the first two, and then I took like eight months off of Destiny because I was just so <laughs> disappointed in it. See, Warmind or whatever, whatever like one of the, the last ones was before Forsaken, that one actually had a lot of story to it. There was mm-hmm. one that had a lot of story to it, but I feel like there was like two right before that that were just short and garbage. I mean, the vanilla story was pretty pretty ass let's be honest yeah but it but like the forsaken was pretty good and then, oh yeah no uh, for, for I, I just started shadow, shadow keep, keep but it seems pretty good so far. so good it's so good but yeah i i'm i'm kind of excited to to get back into it a little bit and level, level my stuff up because I I, i'd like to so have long. i'd like to have like a rise up raid team so we can do like the <laughs> destiny raids let's be honest well or even if we have three people we do the dungeons True. My issue with that is uh, there's just t- too many games. There is too many games. There is too, too many, many games. That's why. That's why I've like I've stopped playing COD. I've stopped playing Apex. I deleted Fortnite. 